Hey guys, Tammy Treyer, TreyerWilderness.com. I was trying to go live on Facebook today and our signal is not good enough. We have some funky weather out here and I couldn't go live yesterday while we were doing the brunt of things because we had electrical storms. So therefore, it is what it is. I'm going to try it this way. I'm going to show you quick our chili sauce. Isn't that yummy looking? That is the last batch. That is number six, batch number six. And I am in the process of canning it right now. I'm going to do this with me, myself, and I. So I don't know how well this is going to work as far as cameraman going. But I wanted to share a couple things with you. Um, today I'm just using cur regular cur lids. Um, the metal canning lids that most of you are familiar with. But last night and yesterday I was using my Tatler lids. These things are amazing. These are reusable um, for a multitude of times and that's why I like them because things are in a weird way who knows what's gonna happen I wanna make sure I can keep putting food on my shelves so you've got the rubber rings and the plastic lids and let me just show you here what that looks like on the canning jar they're used the same exact way and they are wonderful but like I said the key thing is that they're reusable um, they are uh, US made and um, I really 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 like these uh, I ran out of the regular mouth size I prefer wide mouth for everything because when we are canning our um, game meats it's so much easier to get things in and out of a wide mouth same with pickles so I'm going to be trading all of my regular mouth jars for wide mouth jars upcoming but right now I'm just making do using what I've got so I'm gonna get those out of the way but I wanted to share those with you um, in the description on this video you will find a link for the Tatler lids you will also find a link to my recipe for the chili sauce which is a family favorite and a family recipe and we use it for both chili sauce and salsa and um, it's a great great Thing to use with your um, game meats, any kind of meat, um, chicken, squirrel, anything. You know, you put a squirrel in a slow cooker or in a sun oven with um, this chili sauce, it'll be out of this world. Uh, we do it with our um, moose, our elk, our venison, and it's a great um, way to add to chilies, you know, regular chili sauce, but we use it in all of our meats. And what I'm going to do here is just use my canning funnel and my jar. And let me show you this nice masterpiece. This was handcrafted by the mountain man for me. Really nice scoop style wooden spoon. So I'm just putting these in the jar. Canning this is very simple. And um, there is vinegar in this. And you, if you're following the canning procedures, you may wish to can this after you've um, put these in the jars. You could water bath can this for 10 minutes. Um, I don't. I'm hot packing this because it's very hot, and it is also it has vinegar in it, and I'm we've never had a problem. I'm not worried about it, so I just do it this way. And let me just get that out of there. Put a little bit too much in there. Okay, so just pack this down on the counter. Like I said, videoing this is going to get a little tricky um, because I'm solo. And so excuse my arms and all the movement, but I want to at least get you the idea behind this. Now I got a little bit too much. Ooh, there's a bee in here. Out my window. There we go. Bee is gone. Let me grab a spoon here. Bear with me. Okay, I'm going to just put some of this into the next jar. Bear with me. I know you're probably either seeing my elbows or my armpits, and I'm really sorry. But I got too much in the jar. You want an inch of headspace in here. That is the best so that these lids have enough room to move, and there's air space in here. And that's what we're going to do. Now, the other very important aspect of this is that you need to wipe these off. Okay, I'm going to swing around here because things got patty catty while I was trying to do my videos so all right this is what I do I wipe the jar with a rag across the top to get the juices off of here all right and then I just take 
Simply take a paper towel, I wipe it again to make sure it's dry, I grab one of my canning lids, and I wipe it down. Now these were soaking in hot water, so I just wipe it down, and you put the lid on, like such, okay? And then you just put your ring on, and you call it good. And then you just put your ring on, tighten it down, call it good. Now this is hot, so I'm going to put this on a hot plate over here and get this out of the way. This will make 50 quarts for on our shelves this year, which is absolutely, without a doubt, amazing. That means that I can use a jar of chili sauce once a week pretty much for the year. So that is just huge, huge, huge. This is something that we really enjoy. We really use a lot of and use it with all kinds of things. So it it did tap me pretty good yesterday doing all of this, and I was very blessed to have help. The mountain boy loves doing this with me, so he and I chopped from like 10.30 till like 2.30, and then the mountain man got rained out at his job, which was such a blessing, honestly, because he came home and started chopping also. So that was a big help to have his extra hands. And my dear friend Gudrun, I'll try to do this with my left hand. I'm sorry, guys, I'm right-handed, so I'm like shoving my arm into the camera. But um, my dear friend Gudrun, who also brought the produce for me, she and her husband George were so kind enough and do this for me every year when I um, need it. Um, last year we had our garden, but this year I just wasn't up to planning a garden this year because I was afraid with my illness that I just wouldn't be able to. And I'm glad I didn't because I don't always have the strength. Um, I'm getting stronger and that is a blessing, but it would have been a real uh, shame to waste um, so much of my seeds and the produce in the garden. So here is quart number two of this fine chili sauce. This is just amazing. It is just onions, um, peppers, tomatoes, celery, um, it has vinegar, organic sugar, and uh, a little bit of cinnamon oil, and a little bit of clove oil in it, and um, some sea salt as well. So it's very simple to make. It just the the hardest part is the chopping. And you know what? We could have used blenders and different things to chop. We did use a Tupperware hand blender to do the onions, but we chop everything by hand. Um, it just makes, it's something that we look forward to. It's something we do as a family. The mountain boy and I listen to Adventures and Odyssey most of the day. Um, it's a Christian programming that is available online. You can find it at wits, witsend.org, W-H-I-T-S-E-N-D.org. It's a great program for kids, but, you know, it, it, it's good for us adults, too. It has good stories that they share. And yes, it is a Christian program, but I really highly encourage it. It's good quality um, things for children to think about, and it's something that he just enjoys listening to. They have new episodes every week. Uh, he, it's actually a membership thing that he is part of, um, but you, there's a lot of things that are available for free online as well for them. But it was a membership that we purchased for him for $9.99 a month. He can do all kinds of extra things and listen to m more things. Uh, programming that's available. So I do encourage it. It's something good to listen to. We also listen to music um, toward the end of our chopping in that yesterday. But uh, it's just a fun day. It's a fun family thing. And uh, it it's something, like I said, that we look forward to. Now, I will be going and picking blackberries if all goes well and the weather holds out and it doesn't get too horrible hot with my dear friend Rhonda from the Farmer's Lamp on Friday. And I'll be doing some blackberry jam and maybe some pie filling. I'm not sure yet. I haven't quite decided. And today, when I'm done with this video, I'm going to uh, cut up some tomatoes and just j jar some tomatoes or can just plain tomatoes, so I have them for varied things throughout the winter months. And I'm also going to slice up some peppers and freeze those, possibly dehydrate some as well. So I have them for the winter months as well because I have a lot of extra peppers, which I had pre-planned because I knew that they would be great to have available also. Because during the winter months, you don't have the fresh stuff, so I'd like to have as much of the canned stuff as possible. 
And then I have some peaches and my dear friend Melissa K. Norris at melissaknorris.com has an amazing, what looks to be an amazing recipe for peach salsa. And I'm going to give that a try today too because I have the extra uh, produce to do it. And uh, Gudrun was kind enough to bring me some peaches as well, as well as some uh, really tasty gala apples. So I'm feeling very blessed with the produce. My body is thanking her greatly because it is craving fresh produce right now and all the minerals and vitamins that are coming from them. And as I said, my body is healing, but this morning I de definitely paid the price for yesterday's all-day adventure. Um, I woke up and was very slow moving. It is now almost one o'clock and my body just finally started cooperating at about noon. So, you know, I'm still sick and I still need to cater to my body, but I will be very grateful for what I put myself through this winter when it comes to pulling these off the canning shelves. And I am forever indebted to my family for helping me. So I encourage you, if you are not a canner, to definitely look up canning and get involved in canning. You can check out my videos, which there is also a link for that in the description. And you can simply do that by going to our YouTube channel at uh, treyerwilderness.com slash YouTube. And um, you'll find all kinds of other videos there as well. But I have a lot of preserving videos on there to help you. We did a lot with canning chicken and our game meats. And we want to pass that knowledge along. And there's a lot more coming. So thank you for listening in and watching the video. And I will catch you guys on the next one. And maybe I'll try to jump on live while I am doing some of the other things this afternoon. You guys take care. Have a great day. And God bless.